Hello and welcome to Real Science for Kids. The videos in this series are the advanced experiments for level one chemistry. The title of this experiment is Gooey Glue. Have fun discovering real science with Rebecca. Hi, I'm Dr. Rebecca Keller. Today we're going to look at some polymers and we're going to find out how we can change their properties by cross-linking them with other polymers. So we're going to take a look at three different types of glue. We have a yellow wood glue, a white all-purpose glue, and then we have a clear glue that's used for fabric. What we will do is take these three different types of glue, put them in some containers, and then add liquid laundry starch. And we will observe whether or not their properties change. We have to use liquid laundry starch for this experiment, and you can find liquid laundry starch in most grocery stores. However, if you live in a part of the country and you cannot find liquid laundry starch, the best thing to do is simply order it from Amazon. Okay, so let's get started. Let's take one of the containers and we'll go ahead and add some of this uh, Woodcraft glue to the container. And we can see that it's kind of goopy. Add just a couple of blobs of this stuff. And let's just take a look at its properties real quick. So if I put my fingers in there, I can see that this glue is pretty sticky. You know, if I roll it between my fingers, it doesn't form into any sort of ball. You know, it sticks to the paper. So it has certain properties. And glue is a polymer, and in this condition it has, this, you know, sticky properties. So let's add some liquid laundry starch and see what happens. So I usually add about twice as much liquid laundry starch as I have glue. And you have to get your fingers dirty. So I'm going to go in there, I'm going to mix this around. I'm going to play with the glue in the laundry starch. So I can see that the properties of the glue are already beginning to change. The glue is becoming much firmer. It's less sticky. It's starting to clump together. And if I massage it a little bit, I can tell that it's not sticking to my fingers as much as it was before. It still sticks a little bit, but it's starting to form a nice little kind of a ball. And so it's still a little messy and sticky, but it, the properties are starting to change. And what's happening is, is that the liquid laundry starch is cross-linking the glue polymers and changing its properties. So we can see it's forming a nice little kind of a ball. It doesn't really want to ball up. Um, it doesn't stick very well together. If I squish it too much, it, it does push through my fingers still. But it is getting much firmer, and if I must take some time and massage this, I could probably make a nice little ball out of it. Okay, so let's move this one aside, and now let's try the all-purpose white glue. So we'll go ahead and add a bit of this white glue to our container. And it actually flows a lot uh, more smoothly than the wood glue. And let's go ahead and see what it feels like. If I put my finger in there, I can tell that it's sticky, very sticky. It's actually stickier than the wood glue. It sticks to the paper, but I can't roll it into any ball. It um, just sticks to my fingers. And moves, you know, it's like a thick liquid. So let's go ahead and add some liquid laundry starch. Mix it around and see what happens. Again, I'm just going to get my fingers in there and I'm going to just mix it around and pull it up. And and this one is changing a lot more quickly than the previous one. You can see it's starting to be very different already. Move it around in my hands. It even comes away from the uh, container a little bit. And I can pull it up. I can start to massage it in my fingers. And its properties are changing dramatically, very quickly. It no longer sticks to my fingers. It 
it's uh, very sl slick. And let's try the fabric glue. So this is a very different type of glue. It's clear. And I'm going to pour some in our container. It's very liquidy. And it actually has a different odor. It's, it's got kind of a glue, more glue odor than the either the wood glue or the all-purpose glue. It's a little stronger in its smell. And let's go ahead and see what it feels like. It's, it's very sticky, very, very sticky even stickier than the other two glues. And you can see it even sticks between my fingers. So it's quite a sticky glue. Sticks to the paper. Oh, a lot. It's very, it's a very, I can see why it's fabric glue. It's very sticky glue. Okay, so let's add some liquid laundry starch to this fabric glue and see what happens. So I'm gonna swirl it around fingers in there and I can see already it's starting to change its properties. It's actually changing colors. It's not as clear anymore. Looks like it's combining with the laundry starch. So some of the laundry starch polymers are cross-linking with this glue. It's actually a lot stiffer than either the white glue or the wood, wood glue it doesn't it doesn't stick to my fingers anymore as much maybe a little bit I can get some of that off you can see we have three different types of glues cross-linked with liquid laundry starch and it gives us three slightly different types of polymers cross-linked polymers this one is fairly elastic you can pull it apart the wood glue doesn't it just breaks it doesn't even it doesn't have any elasticity in it at all and then the fabric glue will pull apart quite a bit even more than the white glue we've had some people ask whether or not you can use cornstarch instead of liquid laundry starch so let's give it a try I have an idea of what the answer is but rather than me telling you what will happen let's just do the experiment let's take some cornstarch and add it to some water. We'll take a couple of teaspoons of cornstarch and just put it in this water here. Go ahead and make it nice and concentrated. Add quite a bit. We'll just mix it in. We get a nice thick solution of cornstarch. Seems pretty concentrated to me. And let's go ahead and add some of the all-purpose white glue and see if we can get the white glue to cross-link with this cornstarch. I'm going to add some white glue. And I'll mix it around in my fingers. Nothing at all the same is happening. It's really just kind of making a mess. It's not very sticky, so the stickiness has kind of gone out of the glue, but it's just turning a milky color. It's not balling up into any kind of ball. And so regular cornstarch mixed with water won't work for this experiment doesn't cross-link the polymers in the glue. So we can actually use liquid laundry starch to cross-link polymers. We found out that regular cornstarch in water doesn't work. And this was a lot of fun. Thanks for discovering real science with me. Join me next time and we'll do another fun experiment. Discovering Real Science with Rebecca is presented by Gravitas Publications Incorporated in collaboration with Burt Johnson Video Productions. Put video on your business website by visiting webbizvideos.com. And now here come the bloopers. Hi, my name is Dr. Rebecca Keller. Is there some problem? <laughs>
You are not Dr. Rebecca Keller. I am Dr. Rebecca Keller. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at, no, I don't like that. What we're going to do is we're going to look at them like that. I have no idea what I was going to say. <laughs> it's totally gone. Poof. There's the dotes and dozy dotes and little lambsy divey, kiddly divey too, wouldn't you? Okay. This makes an awfully messy, milky white mess. 